This session is on hotspots. A hotspot is an area of volcanic activity found away from plate boundaries. It's where you get volcanoes springing up in the centre of one of the Earth's tectonic plates. So if we look at this map, you've probably been taught that we get volcanoes and earthquakes along the edges of the plates, the plate boundaries. So if we go here, this is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and we find Iceland between the Eurasian plate and the North American plate. Hotspots are different. If you look over here in the center of the Pacific plate, these are the Hawaiian Islands, and we have active volcanoes found here, and yet we're in the center of an oceanic plate, the Pacific plate. The idea of this session is to see why these hotspots occur. This is a sped up view of a lava lamp. You've got the source of heat at the bottom here. It's heating up wax, and when wax is heated up, it rises up to um, the top of the lava lamp here, and as it cools down, it sinks back down again. Now actually, um, the Earth's mantle um, does the same thing. The core of the Earth is 5,500 to 6,000 degrees centigrade, heating up the material of the mantle. This makes a plume of melted rock magma rise up within the mantle to the surface, and this superheated mantle plume can burn its way through the Earth's crust, creating a volcano here in the middle of a plate. Now this especially happens if the plate is thin. So oceanic plates are a lot thinner than continental plates and this is where you get these hot spots, these volcanoes breaking out of the Earth's crust. Now let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. Within the mantle there is this superheated um, plume of magma rising up through the mantle because it's less dense than the rock around it. It meets the Earth's crust and because of the heat and the pressure of the magma it might be able to burn its way, scorch its way through the Earth's crust creating a volcano on the surface and this we call a hotspot volcano. However, the Earth's crust is moving. Now, the Earth's crust moves as fast as your fingernails grow, between about one and five centimeters per year. Meanwhile, this superheated magma that's rising up to the surface goes incredibly slowly. It takes millions of years for it to rise up through the mantle. So here is our superheated magma, the hot spot, scorching its way through the Earth's crust, but the Earth's crust is moving. So here's an active volcano that's been formed above the hot spot. If we come back in a few years time, the volcano will have moved with the Earth's crust away from the hot spot. It's now an extinct volcano because there's no source of magma rising up to it. However, above the hot spot, more magma might find its way through to the Earth's surface, creating a fresh active volcano. Now, meanwhile, the Earth's crust is still moving away from the hot spots. If we come back in thousands of years' time, um, our extinct volcano will have moved even further away. This is another extinct volcano that has probably been moved away from the hot spot on the Earth's crust, which is the conveyor belt. And then we might have another fresh volcano um, erupting, breaking its way out of the crust. Because of this, we get a line of volcanic islands, often an island arc, within the center of the oceanic crust. Here is a summary of what we've learned so far. So hotspots are areas of intense volcanic activity. The key is in the centre of a plate, away from the plate boundaries. What happens? Superheated plumes of magma from the mantle move towards the surface, taking millions of years. This magma can burn through thin areas of ocean crust, forming volcanoes. The plumes of magma remain pretty much stationary, but the crust slowly moves above them. 
This can create chains of volcanic islands like Hawaii in the middle of the Pacific Plate. As the volcanoes of the Earth's crust are slowly moved away from the hot spot, they can become extinct and are replaced by active volcanoes above the hot spot.